What's going on? Hello? Yeah! So hi everybody and welcome back to the Bitcoin Day Trade channel. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to recover your C, your mnemonic code. This tutorial is to help you out if you have for instance written down only 10 of the 12 words. Or this tutorial is for you if you made a mistake in the word list. Maybe you wrote a word wrong or maybe you forgot to write one word down. So in this case we're going to try and recover our seed. We're going to use the seed recover tool from BTC Recover. Before you're able to use the seed recover you need to have instant BTC Recover the right way or at least all the dependencies and you can find a tutorial here somewhere on how to do that yeah let's just get started maybe it's interesting for you guys that we can use this command window command prompt and there are different kind of command windows I want to show you one of my favorites it's the git command window and you can find it on the internet I just search for git I think that's enough search for git click on the download, download git, windows and just save it on your desktop and let's open it run next okay so let's just keep it all standard it's gonna take a while a couple of seconds to install and the thing we got now is if you right click you get a git bash that's interesting because we can use this technique to instantly open in a certain directory so let's say we have our btc recover master directory somewhere on our pc just git bash here bam only there's a difference because this is more unix based so instead of dir for directory we use ls for listing and as you see we're in the same directory now so that's interesting so i want to share that with you guys and it's a little bit more colorful and i don't know i i personally like these extra colors let's just see what happens when we try to run python on btc recover.py and let's say help okay so it is just working no problem what are we gonna do now let's try and recover a seed as you can see here on the right I have an old wallet. I've used this in the tutorials before. And here is the mnemonic code. This line here. Maybe y'all remember, maybe not. We have to run the seedrecovery.py file here. That's the file that we're gonna use. So let's just open it by using Python. And then it's called seedrecover.py. And let's ask for help. So this is the help screen of the seed recover. It's a little bit different than from BTC recover. So where do we go from here? What's important? The important part here is the big typos, the maximum number of entirely different words. We need to add these. We might need, I don't think it's really necessary, but we can, for instance, add the mnemonic length. So that will be 12 in our case, because we have 12 words here. Math, hidden, stay, endorsed, actor, useful, coffee, flat, intuition, dynamic, destroy, pull. These are 12. Let's just run it and let's just do it with one big typo. We know that we have 11 of the 12 words. So say we run the program and we give it an extra argument and that will be double dash, big typos. Let's say that would be one. That's all we need for this tutorial. Okay, so let's run this. What's gonna happen? It's gonna ask you if you have a wallet file. This is only interesting when you have an Electrum, Electrum wallet. So we can just cancel. And then it's gonna ask you what kind of wallet are you using? In this case, this was my Android wallet from my mobile phone from the old videos. We click here because we have here Android, see? Android wallet. And if you have a blockchain wallet, you can see down here, select that one. But this is an Android wallet, so okay. And they're asking us for our master extended public key. We don't know that. We can extract that, but we're not gonna do that this time. So cancel it. Please enter at least one address from the first account. In my case, when I check my phone, I can see that this address, the first address, it's the one, let me just show you. This is, I don't know if you can see, but it's the same address as here. That's gonna be our first address. So let's copy paste it. Okay, then it's gonna ask us the address generation limit. It is the first address, so we can write down one. That makes it faster. If we would choose another one of the addresses, a later one that we've used, for instance, this is 12ZP. I don't know if y'all can see it. If you would use this one, we need to have at least 30. We need to put here at least 30, but that's not necessary because we chose the first one. The address that you've used to receive your first coins on that wallet. And now it is asking us for our guess. So let's just put everything except the first one. Wow, that was fast. It gave us right away. Very easy. Okay, so that is a way. We can do it. We'll try passwords ETA one seconds. <laughs> But we can do the same again, but now with two typos. 
let's let's just try it again but now in the normal command cd beat c recover master python seed recovery.py double dash let's start with help and then instead of help we say big typos equals two we have no wallet file it is that kind of wallet we have no master extended key we have one address the first one okay number one and the guess for the seed will be Okay, now we have added two words that can be a typo. And as you see, it gets out of hand very, very quick. So it's not an easy way to, have, for instance, hack somebody because it's not worth it. It's not worth the try. In preparation of the upcoming tutorial, I've been trying to do a seed recovery. That's the mnemonic code, the 12 word backup. In this case, I only had 10 words of the 12 words and I'm trying to brute force it. As you can see, I've been waiting for like almost an hour now. That was when I was skipping because before this, I even had it for 20 more minutes. So it's already been one hour and 10 minutes of, of trying to do this. So when I'm going to do this tutorial, I'm going to use 11 of 12 words just to give you an idea. And as you can see here, it makes it so many times slower, like 2000 times slower, I guess, because there are like 2000 different words. or so maybe there are 4000 words, I don't know. It makes it a lot harder if we have less words of the mnemonic code. So I just wanted to let you guys know. It takes a while, it takes way too long. I've been eating dinner and stuff. So I'm getting ready to shoot this tutorial now. So we're not gonna wait for this. As you can see, it gets out of hand very, very quick. But this can be interesting, of course, if you have all the time in the world and you want to brute force it, then this is the way to obtain your words back. So it, this is how you would use the seed recovery tool. Of course, you can use more typos. We've used one typo and succeeded pretty fast. And with two typos, it got out of hand pretty quick. And if you use three typos, man, it's gonna take for days probably. But maybe in your situation, it's worth it to wait a couple of days. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, give it a like to let me know. And if you're new to my channel, I make these kinds of tutorials every once in a while. And it would be an honor if you would subscribe to my channel to let me know that you enjoy my videos. So, thanks a lot for watching and see you guys next time.